What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can edit a Cinema 4D template. Just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects or even Cinema 4D, be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So for this, we're going onto YouTube and we're getting ourselves a template. So I found this one right here, it's a Cinema 4D intro template you see right here, it's changing text. It's from this guy right here, the Reaper Nation YT. So if we go show more and then we go ahead and click download, link right here, it's on Mediafire. All you need to do is click download and then just go ahead and click save, save it to my desktop and you can see it is done. Now I know many of you already know how to do that, but I'm just showing you step by step how to actually do this. So here's the file right here and we've got to open it up into Cinema 4D, so I'm going to go ahead and open up Cinema 4D. So Cinema 4D is open now, go to File, Open, and now we go ahead and select the file right here, changing in Text Intro Template. So go ahead double click that, and this is what we get. So this one right here actually has two texts, so if we watch what this is, if we play through it, you see it's text there, and then it says Name. So it's got two texts in it and let's get into how to actually edit this so come up here where it says mo text this is the actual text now as there is two texts and there's only one layer this is how you edit it so if we come here to where it changes before it changes where it says text and we use this to zoom in like this just go across like this where it says right there the text now up here the bottom corner click here and change the text to whatever you want. So I'm going to put CS for Casual Savage. Just click off it. Now you can see it's highlighted yellow. What we need to do is hold Control and click here. Left click by the way and make sure it's turned red. Now if you don't do that step, you can see we'll change it back to CS and it's now yellow. If we go back, it's going to change back to text. So if we do put the CS like that and hold Control and press this and make it sure it goes red, we can go back and it's still going to be CS. Now we've also got another text edit which is name, so here it is right here. Same thing again. Now we're going to change the name to whatever one, so I'm going to put casual savage like that and click away from it. So hold control and press this right here. You have to press the box, not the actual text. So press the box and make sure it's red. So now if we go ahead and play through from the beginning, you can see there's a CS right there, changes to casual savage. Now you can see the casual savage is actually way too big for the screen. Now the way you resize your text, come up here and click this one right here, scale tool. And uh, now you just go ahead and left click and drag in like so. And that is how you make it smaller. So now if we play through it again, we've got the CS, boom, casual savage fits in nice like that. Now you can see right here the depth, to me that looks huge. So come back to the Motex and here's depth right here, all you need to do is click it down, lower it down choose one that you like, so you can hold it as well now I want to pick it like that so that is currently on 40 depth if we go ahead and play through this there we go, to me that looks much better now if you want to change the colour of it, it's really simple to do so these are the colours that are used for this template right here we got a white, we got another white and we got a blue now if you don't know which colour is used here and you can't tell from there. If you come up to the Motex, you can click one of them. So if we click this one right here, it highlights yellow so it tells us which one it is. If we double click this right here, we can go ahead and change the color to what we want. So, um, I don't know. Let's give it a red. Now you can see it's currently not changing, it's still white. That is because luminance has been checked for this color. So if we go ahead and just uncheck this here by pressing that, it's actually turned black. Now the reason for that is because we haven't gone to color, we haven't checked color. Now we've checked color, it's changed that. So I'm actually going to go ahead and make this black and click OK and click X. Now next thing I'm going to be changing the blue, so click the blue, double click it here. Now again, this time reflection is checked and glow. So we we'll might need to change the glow depending if it is blue. So I'm going to change this color to red, like that, click OK and you can see it's changed to red. The reflection is white, so that's okay, we don't need to change that. And the glow is also white, so we don't even need to change that either. So all we need to do is click the X, and we are done. So the Mo text is complete, we've changed the color, and we've changed the depth. So if we play through this, boom. It is complete. It is that simple to edit Cinema 4D templates. 
So that is the end of the video. Hopefully you've been able to follow it and hopefully it has helped you. Now you can go ahead and get yourself a Cinema 4D template intro. And yeah, like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, or even Cinema 4D, be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to follow me on Twitter or I'll keep you posted with what I'm going to be posting. Also, be sure to go ahead and check out my gaming channel where I post three to four times a week. And finally, be sure to have my Snapchat where I'll show you what I do throughout my day. So yeah, it's been Casual Savage here. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.